Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so this video is gonna be a little bit different. I am gonna share with you items that sold on consignment. So a while back, I did a video where I had went to the bins and I showed you guys me dropping off a ton of inventory to Mary. And um, Mary has a Mercari shop. Mary is also works full time. So Mercari is just kind of something she does on the side. And she offered to do some consignment for me to help me get some of this inventory out of my house. So um, basically, I dropped it off to her. She was It was completely up to her how she wanted to list it, which platform she wanted to list it on, if she wanted to bundle things, free reign to do what she wanted. Um, it was a 50-50 split after fees. So um, the fees are taken out and then she keeps 50% and I get 50%. So... Um, I think typically when you work for somebody and you list items, um, like take the pictures and do the listings, I think people usually pay a dollar to two dollars an item. So consignment is different. Um, you basically are giving them the item and they are doing the complete process. So I pretty much dropped it off and stayed out of it. And then she sends me a spreadsheet with all of the numbers and a check. So, um, I'm really just going to go through the items with you. I was thinking about showing you like the breakdown of what I ended up earning and what she ended up earning. But honestly, like I think that would be for really too long of a video because there are a lot of tabs pulled up. I'm just basically going to show you um, what sold. This is a what sold on consignment video. Um, I will tell you where I got it and uh, what I paid for it, just like I do in all of my videos. And we are going to get started. Now, I will tell you. Um, excuse me, Mary sells differently than me. Like I'm very patient. I list high and I send offers. Mary, which I kind of think is cool. And she proved to me that it does work is she posts things competitively and then they usually just sell quicker. So, I mean, there were a lot of items that sold in one day. So, uh, which I was like, oh my gosh, that sold so fast. So I don't know. Maybe um, we can all learn something from Mary on this one. All right, you guys, let's get started here. The first item she sold is this Sesame Street train cars, Ernie and Big Bird. Another thing that Mary does is she charges shipping. I typically do free shipping on Mercari. And if you guys um, are not familiar with Mercari, I did just release a video on my main channel, Bolo Buddies, how to list on Mercari. It's a Mercari review and step-by-step -step how to. So if you want to learn more about listing on Mercari, definitely go check out that video. So um, Mary's store is Goal Crusher Girl, and I will link it down below so you guys can go check out and see what she has listed. But this is the first item that sold. And again, she priced it competitively so that she could move it quickly. And it's a Sesame Street train cars, Ernie and Big Bird, and it's all the little characters, and it's a train set. And she sold this for $10, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, that's, oh, that came out of a mystery box. The next item that sold, and this sold really, really fast, um, it was a Nintendo Wii sports game, and she sold this for $18, and the buyer paid shipping. And if I remember, I'm going from memory on these, you guys, because I typically keep track in the custom SKU, um, but I don't have access to that because I just took everything to her. I can't, this might've been a mystery box also. The next item that sold is this bundle of um, Disney's Wonderful World of Knowledge. I picked these up at a thrift store. I think I was all in for about $5.00. And she sold these for $46 free shipping, but she did ship them media mail. But um, these are books can be lotted. They can be sold individually. So it's really up to you. You can search comps and figure out which way they are selling the best. For convenience, I personally would have sold them as a lot. Um, I believe it was one through 24. I think it was all of them. I don't think any were missing. Now, if some were missing, I may just disclose it or I may list them separately. The next item that sold is this Thomas and Friends set. This also came out of a mystery box. Um, and it's just a miscellaneous lot of Thomas the Train items. She sold this for $26 plus shipping. 
So the fee on Mercari for shipping was $17.25. So again, what I do with Mercari is I look at the fee, the delivery fee, what it's going to cost. And I try to figure out what is the best way to um, ship the item. If I should do free shipping and then ship through pirate ship, or if I should use Mercari's. I typically go with free shipping because I feel like people are drawn to that, but I do not do free shipping on eBay. The next item she sold are these Bristol blocks. Um, this, I don't know if they were complete or not. I don't think she counted. Um, I know I didn't count. Uh, but anyway, she um, went ahead and put those in a lot and just sold them for six plus shipping. Again, shipping's $13. So, I mean, there's not a lot of give on that. Uh, she does write inventory CC. That means Courtney consignment. So if I go into her store and I'm looking through her items, if I'm like, oh, did, is that one mine? Or if I'm trying to remember, I can look at the description and see, oh, that's mine. So um, if you have anybody doing consignment, that's a great way to be able to locate which items are yours if they sell for multiple people or for themselves also. The next item that sold is this um, Haba flower stacking puzzle. This one also sold really fast. Um, I guess maybe not really fast, but faster than I expected. It's missing, I think, a couple of the pieces. So really, it's just for replacement parts. It's super, super cute, but it sold for $15 plus shipping. And I think it took about two months to sell, maybe a month and a half. So not too bad for, um, you guys know me, I always sell things that, um, are damaged, defective, missing parts. Like I'm all about parting things out. I probably would have sold each flower separately. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, maybe I would have. All right, this next one is this Fisher Price Little People bus. And um, Fisher Price Little People are the little people that fit on, they fit into the bus. You can see the little spots where they sit. And this sold for $8 and it looks like somebody had messaged her about it and she did a special maybe price for them. Sold it for $8 plus shipping because it says for whoever this is. The next item is this bundle of Fisher Price toy cell phones. Um, these came out of a mystery box. I forgot to tell you guys. This, I believe, was a mystery box. This was a mystery box. Uh, that was a Facebook marketplace find. So. Um, again, this one, I left it up to her. I'm like, if you want to bundle things, bundle them. If not, do it however you want. Um, and she bundles these three together. That's probably what I would have done as well. And she sold this for $11 plus shipping. The next item is this My Little Pony. Sorry, I don't know what I keep bumping to make that do that. Uh, Pony Book and Magnet Drawing Kit. And I believe this was new old stock. And I believe I got this out of a mystery box as well and sold it for $12 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Elvis Presley King of Hearts bear. It kind of looks like a TY or tie bear. It is not. It's, um, I forget what the brand is. Let's see. Gallery Treasures. And this sold pretty quickly for $9 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item that sold is another set of little phones and toys um, for babies. Um, I have found that baby toys do better when I lock them up. So I do agree with how she listed this. I probably would have done the same thing. She sold this for $8 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Fisher Price bundle. Man, that is really frustrating how it, you guys see how that keeps popping up I'm like stop um so this is another bundle for babies and this one sold for 13 plus shipping and it's just a bunch of little toys I think this stacker's missing the top one unfortunately oh that's cute it's a like a nightlight so 13 plus shipping great little deal for somebody who just wants to pick up some toys for a good price the next item that sold is this Play School Musical Wheels on the Bus, and it's got the little people inside of it. I do believe they come out. Yep. So $11 for that, and the buyer paid shipping, and that also came out of a mystery box. 
The next item also came out of a mystery box. It's a Fisher Price Bright Beats Dance Bow Wow. And it is a puppy dog and it's kind of one of those, they kind of uh, have different beats and songs that it plays. And this sold for $10 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these McDonald's Smurf Happy Meal figures and huts. These are vintage. Um, prices do range on what you can get for these. So definitely look them up. And this set sold for $7 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this G.I. Joe Army rocket launcher and lunchbox. Again, she lotted the items together to uh, make like a little G.I. Joe set and sold this for $13 plus shipping. And those were also a mystery box. Okay, so this one is partially her items. These were hers. This was mine and this was mine. Um, and she sold the lot for $35. So um, it was a bundle deal. Somebody messaged her and said, hey, will you bundle the items for me? And she gave them a price. And that's how they did that. Um, these two items came out of a mystery box. The next item that sold also came out of a mystery box. It's Best Learning Mushroom Garden Toddler. It's um, like a little like a pattern thing. I think I did a video on my retail reseller testing products channel. Um, I was getting ready to list it and I was taking a load to her. So I just went ahead and threw it in the box, sold this for $10 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Barbie accessories junk drawer lot. So basically what a junk drawer lot is, is a, it's a big lot of items, miscellaneous items, and you just call it a junk drawer lot because people search for it. And it's typically a hodgepodge of items. So some of these items were incomplete. Some of them, uh, they weren't a set. It was just a mixture of Barbie items. And she sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. And this came from a garage sale. And I bought it with a bunch of other stuff. And um, this is just a bundle of it. The next item that sold are these iron-on transfers. It's a vintage bundle of nine. Um, I typically bundle these as well. I have sold some individually. It kind of just depends on what the transfer is. If it's a Halloween transfer, I'll usually um, list it separately just because the Halloween, typically, you know, people search for vintage Halloween items. So she ended up selling this for $20 plus shipping. And I think I picked these up at a garage sale. The next item that sold is this uh, dragon, Dragon's Fairies and Wizard Wand. And she's got here showing that it works. And it sold for $14 plus shipping. And that one sold really quick also. So this is a Polly Pocket Wall Party Cafe with Leah the doll and then the accessories that go with it. And I think this came out of a mystery box also, sold it for $14 plus shipping. The next item is this uh, Nerf and Strike Elite built-in camera. It was brand new Nerf gun in the box. Um, I want to say, I, I know I got it at a thrift store. I want to say it was between $5 and $8. I can't remember exactly. Um... She sold this super, super fast. I, I want to say it was in within a, a week, maybe, maybe a couple days. I can't remember, but it sold fast. She sold it for $27 plus shipping. So the next item is these Snoopy Lucy cotton fabric panels and towel. And this towel right here. Um, this sold for $15 and the buyer paid the shipping on that. This also, I think came out of one of the Christmas mystery boxes. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but they are vintage. Uh, well that says 1958. I don't know if they're 1958 vintage or if that's like a patent date or something. The next item is this peanuts, happy holidays ornament. And this is a little, um, thing that holds like sugar or something. It has a little scoop. Um, that goes with it. I think that was missing. So sold this for $19 plus, I'm sorry, $9 plus shipping on that one. 
The next item that sold is this motorcycle. It's a my oh, I don't know how to say that. Maisto, Maisto. This came out of a mystery box and this sold really fast. Um, and it sold for $13 plus shipping. Again, she prices things competitively so that they move quickly. The next item also sold quickly. It's a Berry Blossoms um, Boyd's Bear uh, little figurine. It's got like flowers. And this sold for $9. I believe I got this at a garage sale for either 50 cents or a dollar. The next item is this American Girl doll. And it's from 2008. And she sold super fast for $27 plus shipping. Um, I can't remember. I want to say maybe she came out of a mystery box also. Uh, some of these are retired and harder to find. And some of them go for big money. So definitely look them up. The next item that sold is this Leap Frog Learning Path Discovery House. And this came out of a mystery box. It sold for $13 plus shipping. The next item is this Disney Frozen Karaoke Machine, also came out of a mystery box, $8 she sold it for, plus shipping. This is a Melissa and Doug uh, puzzle. Uh, I believe they bundled, yep, yeah. so this is a bundle. So it's got the puzzle, it's got this Santa Claus magnet thing, might just, oh, and then my responsibility chart. So it came with all three of these for $15, which is a fantastic deal for somebody who's looking for these types of items. $15 plus shipping on that one. And those were all mystery box items also. The next item is this Oball John Deere Go Grippers Lot of Threes. She sold these for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. Again, another item that sold really quickly. And those also came out of a mystery box. The next item also came out of a Christmas mystery box. It's this Gare Old English Santa Gingerbread Vintage. And I knew this was going to be um, an item that sold pretty quickly because it is a harder to find um, mold. And she sold this for $30 plus shipping. All right. These staples came from a garage sale. I think my cost of goods was like a buck for all of them. And she sold these for $7 plus shipping. They're vintage staples. The next item is this Jada Toys 2009 car. It's just like a little model car. And the door opens and she sold this for $9 plus shipping. The next item is this Tolly Tots double doll stroller. Sold it for $9 plus shipping. This Hot Wheels, um, Oh, I forget what it's called. Oh, the Joker, the Joker Funhouse uh, playset. And it looks like it says bundle. Maybe she just called it a bundle because it's got the car with it. And I don't know what those are. Oh, they just go on the front. So she sold this for $6. It had kind of sat for a while and somebody made her an offer of six and she went ahead and took that. Again, I gave her free reign to sell everything for whatever she wanted to sell it for. So um, I was fine with a $6, $6 plus shipping on that. The next item is this Nylant Chevy Blazer. This also sold super fast. Um, this could have sold for a lot more. It did have a little bit of, um, I think, rust right here. So um, she ended up selling it for $18 plus shipping. And that came out of a mystery box also. The next item came out of a mystery box and this sale, like it was gone within hours, I think of her listing. It's a Muppet Workshop puppet building kit. Um, so if you ever see one of these, this guy sold fast, uh, $10 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Despicable Me pumpkin push ins five piece. So basically it's to decorate a pumpkin. She sold this for $4 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Fisher Price cell phone. It sold for $5 plus shipping. And those items were both from a mystery box also. These also came out of a mystery box. They are Fashion Angels Sketch Portfolio Bundle. Sold it for $10 plus shipping. These sold, again, really, really fast. Um, Outlander, the series button pin set. 
sold for five dollars plus shipping i do think these were retired um 2015 so um not sure but five bucks plus shipping on those the next item that sold is this Disney Fairies game. I believe I got this at a garage sale for a dollar, I think. And it sold for $10 plus shipping. The next item is this school, school bus. It's a VTech Learning school bus. And it's got Gavin, I guess that's his name. She looked that up. And this sold for $9 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage game, Oh Rats. It's a puzzle game. And it sold for $16 plus shipping. And that also came, both those items came out of a mystery box. This also came out of a mystery box. It's a Fisher Price fish. It's a, one of those rattles, Maraca, Maraca rattle. And she sold this for $4 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Little Live Pets turtle tank. So this is just the carry case, you guys. It's not, it doesn't have the turtle. And it sold for $8 plus shipping. The next item is this squeeze popper. And I actually took her probably about 20 of these. And they came out of a mystery box. And she sold this one for $8 plus shipping. The next item is another one. And this one sold for $9 plus shipping. This fire truck also came out of a mystery box. It's a Fisher Price Little People fire truck from 1988, uh, sold for $9 plus shipping. The next item is this Buddy L toy helicopter, and this sold for $9 plus shipping. This is a Fisher Price Laugh and Learn camera, and it sold for $4 plus shipping. And these are all mystery box items. This also came out of a mystery box, a Halloween mystery box. It's a ceramic bear Halloween with the, holding the jack-o'-lantern. And this sold for $13 plus shipping. This. Hmm. I don't think. Uh, it might have. I can't remember where I got this. Um, but it's Stampability's Misfit Train. So it's from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Misfit show, I think. And it's a rubber, wooden rubber stamp, and it sold for $9 plus shipping. And it actually sold pretty quickly. Um, I was actually surprised because the condition wasn't great. But if you can find certain stamps with um, hard to find um, stamps, they can go for decent money. Uh, I do have a video over on my Bolo Buddies channel, my main channel, that says uh, look for these stamps or something like that. And I tell you the top three wood mounted wood rubber mounted stamps to be on the lookout for. I mean, some can go for hundreds of dollars. So definitely check out that video. The next item is this Paula Young wig. I can't remember where I got this. Um, it sold for $16 plus shipping. This also came out of a mystery box. It's a Fisher Price Laugh and Learn guitar. It sold for $5 plus shipping. This is a Little People Disney Minnie and Mickey Mouse house. And I've sold one of these before. Um, you guys probably saw it on my what sold. Um, I can't, I, I think mine sold for more, but I think I sold it on eBay. I can't remember. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe one of you guys remember. But anyway, it sold for $6 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these Lego Duplo junk drawer lot. It's a bunch of just miscellaneous Legos. And this sold for $14 plus shipping. And I believe those came out of a mystery box also. The next item is this Disney Snow White Princess Picnic Set and Radio. This sold for $12 plus shipping. So the little radio is back here. Super cute, right? The next item that sold is this Lindsay Plush Rag Doll. So a rag doll is basically, I, I think, just a plush doll. I don't know. I've never used the, ra the word rag doll in my title. I'm guessing she probably looked it up and that is what uh, she found in the title of another one. Maybe it said it on the tush tag. I'm not really sure. Um, sold it for $12 plus shipping. And I believe that came in a mystery box also. 
The next item is this Snow White and the Evil Queen uh, villain figure. And I believe, I could be wrong. I was thinking it was like a McDonald's toy, but I could be wrong about that. But she's super, super cool. It flips and it hides under the dress. Isn't that neat? And this sold for $4 plus shipping. And I think that came out of a mystery box. Also, this was a mystery box. It's Toymark Fighter Jet. Sold for $5 plus shipping. And that also sold pretty quickly. Um, I'm not familiar with this toy brand. I, I'm Mary does a really good job of looking up comparables. So I'm sure she did her homework. Uh, the next item is this felt kids take along tote. And it's basically like paper dolls, only they're felt. And this sold for $19 plus shipping. And I believe I got that at a thrift store or out of a mystery box. I can't remember. The next item is this Power Rangers superhero toy phone. Uh, this is vintage. Uh, she sold it for $5 plus shipping. Um, oh, wait. This is a toy phone, which is a version of Power Rangers, but I'm not sure which one. Uh, someone did message and let me know it wasn't Transformers. So maybe she had Transform. I don't know. But I guess it's a Power Ranger phone. And it is vintage. So it sold for $5 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Roman Babies Cradle Metal and uh, Crucifix Vintage Mother Mary Pendant. So, um... It's like a little uh, set and I can't remember where I got this. It may have been in a mystery box. I don't know. I don't recall. Like I usually can remember like kind of sometimes where I got things. It may have been in a Christmas mystery box. I'm not sure, but it sold for $14 plus shipping. The next item is this Mary Inglebright Hallmark keepsake ornament. Mary Inglebright does pretty good. She does have a following. So if you ever see Mary Inglebright, definitely look up comps. Uh, this sold for $6 plus shipping. The next item is this Paragon Needlecraft Candlewick Pillow Kit, and it sold for $8 plus shipping. These two Longenberger doorknob pillow, uh, they like hang on the doorknob. They sold for $6 plus shipping. And those items all came out of a mystery box also. So, um, let me go into Mary's store here. Goal Crusher Girl. Um, you can see some of the items she has listed. I know she is helping her mom list some items now. And, um, some of these items are mine. Some of these are hers, but definitely take a minute to go and check out her store. And if you see something you like, you can definitely show her some support with the purchase. If you so like. If you so wish, I don't know. Anyway, if you see something you like. So these are really cool. Um, it, you throw it and like you'd say whatever their thumb is on when the kid catches it, you read it off. And I think you have to do stuff or answer a question or something like that. Those came out of a mystery box also. But lots of cool stuff. And I did show you the last two. So again, her store is Girl, Goal Crusher Girl. So definitely go give her a follow on Mercari. Um, now, I she did list items on Facebook Marketplace also. I do not have those items because I cannot get access into her Facebook to um, look at solds. It's not like the normal selling platforms where you can go in and like I can look at her Mercari and see all of her solds. So I just had to go buy her spreadsheet. Um, so I'm just going to show you the Mercari solds. My total payout was $593 and she also received $593. So almost $1,200 in, um, that is after fees and everything were taken out. That was our split. So pretty good. Um, lots of bread and butter. And a lot of these items did come out of mystery boxes. Uh, for me, uh, for I have to keep my um, cost of goods low because uh, if I'm doing consignment, because I uh, I don't I give them free reign, so whatever they want to sell the things for, 
and the clothing that I have, oh my goodness, I have so much clothing new with tags um, that I just have no interest in selling. And they're probably going to sit and sit and sit. So if anybody is interested in that, that is totally a different ball game. Um, I'm looking at a big, you see me looking over, there's a big pile of clothes. And um, there's also a walk-in closet full of clothes that need listed. So maybe someday I'll get into clothes again. I don't know. But anyway, I will link Mary's store down in the description if you want to go and check it out. That would be amazing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And these are just some great items that you can look for when you're out at garage sales and stuff like that. Most of these items are easier to find items. Some of them, maybe not so much, but like a lot of the baby items, you can usually get those super cheap at garage sales. And um, thank you for being here and thanks for watching.